Hello everyone, I'm Tuvok, and in today's video I will be featuring Geb. First up for today is a two-year Danji level called Black Star. As you'll find out watching these levels being played, Geb makes some pretty amazing levels with some pretty sweet setups. Everything just flows really well, which is just, you know, really fun to play. I decided to play some Geb levels after I saw Oshikorosu play one in a 100 man, and it just looked really fun to play, so decided to check them out. If anyone has any level creator recommendations, I'd be glad to check them out. Gotta love doing a shell jump. For whatever reason, I was having a little bit of trouble jumping onto that winged pow the first time, but once I got it, it, you know, ended up being pretty easy. One thing I really liked was that this was just a really well-made uh, auto-scroll level, which is actually sort of hard to do. It's really hard to, uh, you know, keep the player's pace so that they can't go faster than what the auto-scroller is actually going. It's also very important to make sure that it's not too easy or too hard to get left behind. And three one-ups for the 100-man player, signs of a good creator. Really awesome first level of the day. Uh, I was super glad once I, you know, got to play it and I was like, oh man, this is gonna be fun. Next up is Revolver, a NSMB level. As I've said in many other videos and in basically any chat I've ever been in, I am terrible at NSMB. So all of these jumps and twirls and other things are definitely testing my skills. One thing I was sort of surprised about and happy about was how often and well that spinning spiny worked. I was kind of expecting it to be a little bit jank, but it was just well made. Oh, and this last jump with the dry bones wrecked my face many times for some reason. And that was Revolver, a very well made, a very fun NSMB level. GG Geb, I cannot wait to play some more. I was thinking a regular SMB level would be fun to play, and I was not disappointed. This level is called Absolutely Perfect Skills Apps 11. And I guess I'm not sure if that is Apps or APS. Either way, wowzers was this fun to play. As a level creator myself, it boggles my mind how much time and effort it must take to get these levels to just work how they do. And just look at these shells going every which way. It is one thing and one thing only. Wow. And it's pretty amazing being able to go this far into your first life on a checkpoint. It is just a testament on just how well made the level is and how well the uh, indicators are placed.
I'd really recommend this level to anyone who just wants to have a really fun time playing a SMB level that is, you know, not your average, just, you know, platforming. Next up, we have a, another NSMB level called Reflector. I am almost certain I saw the Beast 7 to 1 play this, and it was quite the joy to watch. If I had one complaint, it would be that that shell I just jumped off of sometimes, I believe, glitches out or something. I think it happens if you hit the shell going too fast, it like, just breaks somehow. Oh, and I had to cheese this because I could not for the life of me do it the normal way. Even with me not being able to do that final jump, just a very fun level and it has that tech that you just don't see very often. And I honestly wonder how they did that so fast. That's like a solid two seconds faster than mine. Next up we have Potato Soup, and it is a NSMB level that focuses with bombs. This level did probably take me longer than it should have, but again, that's because I'm not very good at NSMB. One thing it does do well though, is it makes you feel like you're doing a lot, even though you're not exactly doing a whole ton, so it is kind of fun to play because it makes you feel like you're really good. And that ice block is sort of hard to get up to. It's a little bit tighter than what I would have liked, personally. And throwing that bomb into that thing is actually sort of hard, at least it was for me. And I've never done this last tech before, but it was, I guess, set up pretty well, so it, you know, ended up working if you actually do what you're supposed to do. And holy guacamole, that level was hotter than Texas. And again, I am in bewilderment on how fast the world record is, and it is taken by Amelia, of course. And last but not least is a SMB3 level called The Big Sky. S-N-M. This was a really fun, fast-paced level. Uh, nothing was crazy difficult, but everything still had a challenge, so it was just fun to keep getting farther and farther and then eventually beating it. I would say that I love a good fast-paced level. It's a lot better for me. I, uh, I'm not a huge fan of really slow levels. Uh, I like just to go, go, go. And the first time I got to that door, I thought for sure I was going to get a checkpoint. <laughs> uh, boy, was I wrong. At least it was basically the end of the level, so it wasn't too bad. So I'd just like to say thank you for watching. Uh, if you haven't and you enjoyed the content, remember to like and subscribe. And as always, tava some more, amores tov.